Hello everyone, uh, myself Baby Nodhani. Uh, I welcome you all the design and analysis of algorithms video lectures. In today's topics, uh, it is a grading technique. In that grading technique, we have uh, several algorithms. In this uh, today's lecture, uh, we are seeing about uh, how to create the Hoffman trees. So the today's topic is the creation of Hoffman trees using for the given character. So what is the uh, Huffman tree. So, what is the use of Huffman tree means? The Huffman tree is used to, to uh, find the code for a given character. So in the network communications, uh, usually we are using that uh, the encode decode operations for that compressing uh, purposes. We are creating the code for a character and uh, do the decoding and encoding operation, encoding and decoding operations. In the Huffman tree algorithms, uh, they are giving this like uh, uh, this table. So, in the tables, we have uh, two columns, uh, we have uh, two rows and uh, we have certain columns. Uh, in that, uh, symbols and frequencies are the two rows. So, the symbols, uh, we, in that, uh, we are giving that uh, A, B, C, D, E. In that, uh, what are all the frequency means? 0 point, they are given the uh, character frequency in the second rows. So, what is our objective means? We are going to uh, generate the uh, code for uh, each character. Uh, so, in that we have uh, procedures. Uh, now, we will see with uh, this example how to create the uh, code for uh, uh, this five symbols. So, for uh, first step one, what we have to do means uh, the given uh, they are giving a code with frequencies. First, we have to uh, do the uh, ascending order uh, ascending order itself we are arranging that uh, code according to the frequencies so in that 0 0.1 is a uh, first one uh, so 0 0.15 after that 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0 0.35 so the b e c d a the character wise we are ascending order wise we are arranged first step uh, after that second step uh, we add the first two symbols and again uh, do the ascending order arrangements so for example in that uh, in our example in the first two symbols are b and e we are going to add that uh, symbols so what is that our adding um, output that is a 0 0.25 so uh, already uh, in the ascending order it comes in the third position so, so you are creating a uh, add the two symbols and uh, add the frequencies of two symbols and creating one node uh, the sum uh, node in the node contains the sum of two symbols and in the left and right we have a b and e symbols so, so after arranging the ascending order the uh, character uh, order is c d b e and a okay so next in step uh, 3 again we have to add these two numbers that is c and d add the frequency of these two numbers the output should be the 4 again we have to set this, uh, this frequency in the uh, correct ascending order positions now the 0 0.4 comes uh, last in the given arrangements so, uh, so what is the C and D in the left and right? So, node le, we are uh, add the sum of the corresponding 0 0.4. So, step 3 the output uh, will be uh, 0 0.25 is the first one. In that 0 0.25, in that uh, node we have a B and E. A, next, we have the A symbol and uh, followed by the C and D. So, again we have to add the first two symbols, add the frequency of first two symbols and, fi and uh, find out um, whether uh, that uh, what is our output based on that we arrange that in the ascending order. So, the output of step 4 will be uh, 0 0.4 is the node frequency of C and D. Next, we have another node that is the uh, root of 0 0.6 next we have a left and right so in that left again we have a root node uh, 0 0.25 in that left and right we have a b and e finally in the right side of 0 0.6 we have a k so output of the step 4 will be look like this again uh, we do the uh, again we have to do the same operations add the two numbers uh, what we have to do means we have to add this proceed add this in, into the uh, finally, uh, we get only one node. The root node, whatever uh, node we have to repeat the process. So, then the step 5 answer will be 
the root node contains a 1.0 left and right we have a 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 uh, in the leaf node uh, the symbols are arranged in the leaf nodes so the arrangement of symbols in the leaf node of c d b e and a so this is the hoffman tree for the given symbols based on the frequency we are creating the hoffman tree now we we can ask how we can create the um, code for the given symbols so uh, for that we have the another procedures uh, so in the tree uh, we have to assign the uh, zero and ones for each left and right node so the zero are arranged for all the left side and one is arranged for the uh, and put one in the all the right side so 1.0 left we have a zero and right one again 0 0.4 we have a left and right so zero and one so the zeros are assigned the zero uh, in left and one in right so after uh, uh, setting that uh, in the leaf node we contains a c d b e a so after for reaching the a symbols we have to cross Pass the two character two uh, character uh, two uh, numbers uh, from the root from the root to a. So what is the code? What is the uh, numbering in for the a means one one. So based upon the uh, this uh, zeros and ones assignments, the a uh, symbols code will be one one and b symbols code will be one zero zero and c we reach zero zero after reading zero zero we will reach the c so the code for d will be zero one and code for e will be one zero one so uh, based upon the Huffman tree uh, creations we are creating the code for each symbols suppose uh, in the question they will ask so find the uh, code for the character of a sentence b a d bad so for that how, how we can write that bad uh, statement uh, sentence in the uh, coding means uh, in the b contains 100 for b we are put uh, 100 a 11 and d 01 so the bad sentence will contain the characters 100 so this is how we can create based on these procedures we can create the code for any symbols. I hope you will understand this uh, concept. Thank you.